Recently, Bayport has expanded its trophy case, and with good reason, has reached an accomplishment from the basketball team, and especially the baseball team, from back-to-back Division I state championships in spring baseball, have made it hard to keep all trophies in set designated cases. So as you can see, it's grown to almost twice the size. Today we're going to interview with some of the coaches and players of the teams that all bring Boyer back to Bayport. My experience with the Bayport baseball team, uh, both last year and this year, but uh, I'm going to focus on last year. Um, I am the statistician for the Bayport baseball team, so I go to every game and I keep the book for the team. Um, and last year was a special team and a special year for us. Um, coming off the first year of winning the state championship, um, we came in and going into the playoffs, we actually lost our last regular season game 10 0. And we did not. I don't think anybody really had the confidence that we were going to make it two in a row. But nobody was really down and uh, going to the playoffs, we had a really good run. Um, we won a couple games at Southwest and then we went to State and uh, went down there and, and made a show of it. And uh, I'll tell you what, jumping into that pile at the end of the day there, winning that State title, getting that State ring, that was a special moment for uh, both for Bayport and for my personal experience. What does it take to make a good football team year after year? It takes a lot of things. Uh, number one, you got to have uh, some talent, some skill. Uh, number two, I think you got to have great work ethic because skill only takes so far. Um, team chemistry is also important. Kids got to get along and uh, care about each other and work hard for each other and, and be a team. There's a lot to that word team. Well, you always have to have a plan in mind, and you have to have uh, you know have to look forward to the following year and have good, talented players coming up through the system. And we have a good youth program, and uh, you know we have talented players coming up, so uh, we just have to fill the holes. We need committed, quality individuals that understand that uh, it's important to be a good person and do the best they can, remain disciplined, and work to improve. You know, and if everyone can get on the same page and take pride in improving and working hard, you usually can be pretty successful. So how do you keep the programs, like your cross-country girls team, especially coming back year after year being so successful? We've been very fortunate to have talented uh, young runners who uh, do a nice job. We've had good leadership, uh, you know, in the boys and girls. The girls have uh, really had a nice run going as well, and uh, we're fortunate. But it, it's talented people that work hard. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of blessed, I guess, maybe that's cliche, but uh, to have a talented group to work with. It's obvious that Bayport Sports is a rich tradition, as you can see from the interviews of coaches, players, and managers. It's obvious that team chemistry, hard work, and dedication to their sport will pay off the most in becoming successful. That's why Bayport has been able to withstand a long tradition of excellence should continue in the future. Deal with many women but treat down spit and I'm bigger than the city lights down in Times Square. Yeah, yeah, yeah.